Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series. Uh, it's me again, Peter. Thank you so much for joining this section. Today, we're going to see how our task is uh, how to configure email forwarding for a recipient mailbox in Microsoft Exchange Server 2019. So let's get to it. Let's see if that is possible. So once you log into, into your dashboard, all you want to go is recipient, mailboxes, and let's choose James Brown, which is uh, going to be a user example for today. You click on the pencil icon, and let's go ahead and check the, the mailbox feature. And let's scroll down a little bit and go to message okay let's let's take a look at the delivery option here so in the delivery option yes we can actually set email forwarding address so we're going to enable it and we're going to tell that every email that is sent to james brown should jane should actually receive it so we're going to click on jane now we have another option right here since Jane, since James is not going to be in the office. That's the reason why we wanted to forward his email messages to Jane. If you want to have both messages delivered to both inbox, yeah, why not? We can, we can see what happened when we add, when we activate this option, but let's try this one first. Let's click on OK, save, and that is done. Let me go ahead and send an email. I'm going to use John Smith, which is our user one. And I'm going to send an email from user one. I hope I type my password well. I always miss this one. Okay. Let me put it like really small right here. The idea, James is not available. We want his email to be forwarded to Jane. So now, in the experiment, what we are doing here is that we want to send an email. John wants to send an email to James, which is what we are doing here. I'm going to search for James Brown, and I say, Hi, James. This, this is a test email. So the idea is sending message to James and Jane is the one receiving that email. Let's go ahead and send it. Okay, message sent. First of all, I wanted to open an additional mailbox right here, which I think, let me just go ahead and sign out for the, for the sake of sim, sim, <laughs> simplicity. All right, let's go ahead and, Log in with a uh, user two, which is chain email. All right, look at that. The message that John sent is actually delivered to Jane. Why? Because James have his email forwarding. Since Jane, uh, since James is not going to be available, we actually send that any message sent to James should be delivered to Jane. That's what happened right here. Does it work? Yes, it works. Now, let's go ahead and sign in to James email, which is a, uh, okay, which is a uh, user three. Let's see if James actually received that email. Well, the option is not checked, so we are not expecting James to receive an email from John, to be honest. So let's um, go here, click on OK. Oh, no, we don't receive any message. Okay, this is just like a test email that I've been doing. <laughs> you say this, is a, uh, this email was sent by John Smith to English department. And because in my previous video, I talk about uh, distribution group, and that is my test. But yeah, uh, James never. We're in the James email address. James Brown. He never received any email from John. Why? Because we have the 
email forwarding for this recipient. Now, the second option I want us to see here is what happened if we go back to the mailbox features and um, we go to the, the mail flow delivery options and we select the deliver message to both forwarding address and mailbox. So our expectation right here is when John send an email to James, James is going to receive a copy of that email. So let's take a look and see what we happen. I'm going to sign out and I'm going to log in with John Smith email. I'm going to send another email to James. Let's do it, James. And say hello from the uh, hello from the other side. <laughs> Hope you are good. So I send an email right now. Let me sign out. I wanted to see if James Brown actually received that email, which is a test user. Hmm, no, his email is a user three. Okay. Look at that. James, I'm sorry. Yeah, James actually received a copy of the email from John. And also, I can tell you that Jane also received that email. Just because we, we actually checked that option of both of them should receive the email. So let's go ahead and give it a go and check again. You see that a look from the other side both emails actually get delivered. Does it work? Yes. All right, give it a go and uh, try that in your lab. This is just uh, what we are doing right here is that we are practicing, we are checking out the mailbox future, and that is the only way we are going to learn Microsoft Exchange Server 2019. So we learn by doing it right here. If you do like this video, can leave. Uh, share with your friend, like, and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.